Hello kids welcome to the maths class today's topic is pictograph so the main objective of today's learning is to understand how to read and draw a pictograph data representation is the method of representing information in terms of pictures symbols graphs or numbers the information that we collect is called data there are different methods of data representation one of them is pictograph so what is a pictograph a pictograph is a type of graph that uses symbols to represent numbers kids first of all let us learn how to read a pictograph now kids as you can see there is a pictograph drawn over here the pictograph shows the different types of food that a group of children like so the name of different food items are written over here salad sandwich fried rice noodles and cake and smiley faces are drawn over here to show how many children like the different food items now kids how we are going to read the pictograph we will read it with the help of the key that is given to us so what is the key that is given to us one smiley face is equal to four children that means one smiley face that is drawn over here represents four children so kids salad is liked by how many children let us first count how many smiley faces are drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 faces have been drawn and we know that one smiley face is equal to four children that means we have to multiply 9 by 4 if we multiply 9 by 4 9 multiply by 4 is equal to 36 so we will write over here 36 that means 36 children like salad now next is sandwich let us again count how many smiley faces have been drawn 1 2 3 4 5 smiley faces and one smiley face represents four children that means we have to multiply 5 by 4 so let us multiply 5 multiply by 4 is 5 fours are 20 next is fried rice let us first count how many smiley faces have been drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 1 1 and one smiley face is equal to 4 children that means we have to multiply 10 by 4 Ten fours are forty. So we will write over here forty. Next is noodles. Let us first count the smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve smiley faces. And we know one smiley face is equal to four children. That means we have to multiply twelve by four. So twelve fours are forty-eight. That means forty-eight children like noodles. Next is cake. Let us first count how many smiley faces have been drawn. One, two, three, four. Only four smiley faces, and one smiley face is equal to four children. So we will multiply four by four. Four fours are sixteen. Sixteen children like cake. Now kids according to this pictograph we have to answer this simple questions read the pictograph and answer the following so we have already taken out how many children likes which food item so we can now easily answer these questions so what is the first question that is given to us which food item is most popular so kids 
Noodles is liked by 48 children. That means noodles is the most popular food item. So over here we can write down noodles. Next is 40 children like to eat which food item? Let us see which food item is liked by 40 children. Over here that is fried rice. So we will write over here fried rice. Next question is how many children like to eat cake and sandwich? That means we have to find out how many children like to eat cake and sandwich all together. So 20 children like sandwich and 16 children like cake. So we can just add 20 plus 16. So kids 20 children like sandwich and 16 children like cake. So 20 plus 16 is equal to 36. That means 36 children like cake and sandwich. Kids, let us see what is the next question. The total number of children in the group are. So that means we have to find out the total number of children in the group. So kids, when we add all these number of children, that is 36 plus 20 plus 40 plus 48 plus 16, we get the answer as 160 children. Now kids, you can do the addition at the side. You can add 2-3 numbers at the time and you can do the addition because it is a long addition for you. So kids, in this way we have to read a pictograph and answer these questions. Now kids, we will learn how to draw a pictograph. Now let us take one example. Look at the flower farm. Simi collected 5 flowers. Sanya collected 7 flowers. Susan collected 4 flowers. So what is the information that is given to us? Simi collected 5 flowers. Sanya collected 7 flowers and Susan collected 4 flowers. The data given in the flower farm can be represented as follows. This data can also be represented by drawing pictures. It is called pictograph. Kids, as you can see, a pictograph is drawn using the given data. The key that is given to us is... One picture of flower is equal to one flower. So, as we know, Simi collected five flowers. So, we have drawn five flowers. As we know, Sanya collected seven flowers. So, we have drawn seven flowers. As we know, Susan collected four flowers. So, we have drawn four flowers. Kids, you must know every pictograph has a title which tells us what the pictograph is about. The pictures in the pictograph tells us about the given number of objects. Next, it has labels which tells us what kind of data is shown. Next, it has a key which tells us the number the each picture is equal to. Kids, we should be able to collect information from pictograph by reading it. Hence, from the pictograph we can say that Simi collected 5 flowers, Sanya collected 7 flowers and Susan collected 4 flowers. Now kids, can you answer these simple questions based on the pictograph? How many flowers did Susan collect? So, according to the pictograph, Susan collected 4 flowers. Who collected the highest number of flowers? 
As we have seen in the pictograph, Sania collected seven flowers. That is the highest number of flowers. What is the total number of flowers collected by the girls all together? If we add the number of flowers collected by all the girls, we get the answer as yes, 16 flowers. Now kids, let us take one more example. Joy visited a farm which was full of red, yellow, green capsicums. He collected 14 red capsicums, 10 yellow capsicums and 8 green capsicums. So kids, we have to draw the pictograph for the given data. And the key that is given to us is 1 red circle is equal to 2 capsicums. Over here, we have to use the red circle as the symbol for capsicums. That means instead of drawing capsicums, we can just use the symbol red circle. Now kids, let us draw a pictograph using this data. Let us read the data once. Colors of capsicums, red, yellow, green. Number of capsicums collected, red he collected 14, yellow he collected 10 and green he collected 8. So kids, what is the key given to us? That is 1 circle which is red circle is equal to 2 capsicums. That means we have to divide 14 by 2 to see how many capsicums or red circles we have to draw. So let us divide 14 divided by 2 that is 7. So that means we have to draw 7 capsicums or red circles. In the same way, next is yellow capsicum that is 10. So again we have to divide 10 by the given key that is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. That means we have to draw 5 capsicums. Next is green capsicums that is 8. Again we have to divide 8 by 2 to see how many green capsicums we have to draw. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. That means we have to draw 4 red circles. Now kids let us draw. Now we have to draw 7 red capsicums. And the symbol of the capsicum that is given to us is red circle. So we will draw over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 capsicums. Now let us just color it. Now kids, yellow capsicums. So how many yellow capsicums we have to draw? That is 5. So we have to draw 5 red circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us color it. Next kids, we have to draw green capsicums. So, how many green capsicums we have to draw? That is 4. So, what is the symbol of capsicums? That is red circle. So, let us draw 4 red circles. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, let us color it. So, kids, can you see? We have drawn the pictograph for the given data using the symbols that is mentioned in the key. Now kids, let's recall what we have learnt today. We have learnt how to draw pictograph for given data. To draw the pictograph, step 1 is to read the given data carefully. Step 2, 
understand the key for the pictograph. Step 3. Use the correct symbol as mentioned in the key. Following the steps, in this way you have to draw the pictograph. I hope kids you have understood how to draw a pictograph using the given data. Now complete the homework that has been given to you. Thank you.